Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today I'm talking about this guy, not the optic, but the mount. It is the Universal Optics Mount by Strike Industries for Glocks. This is exactly what it sounds like, a Universal Optics Mount. Essentially, it is a metal plate, all steel, and it drifts into where your rear sight would be on a Glock. At that point, this whole plate is full of holes, a lot of which are actually threaded. There's a number of different set screws and you go through a pattern basically leveling this thing out on your slide. Doesn't take any permanent modification for your slide, anything along those lines, but you basically get it leveled on there, at which point you can mount whatever optic you want on here. This obviously is the MRD version 2 by Attaball, but it'll fit pretty much everything. I think the only thing it won't fit is maybe the Aimpoint Acro, but all of your Trigicon, RMRs, stuff by Aimpoint, Burst Fast Fire, pretty much all the whole patterns for small little optics, reflex sights for running on pistols. And to that end, how does it do? In my experience, it does a pretty good job. It allows you to put an optic on there and get the experience of shooting with an optic rather than having to permanently modify your slide if you don't have a slide that actually takes different mounting plates for optics. I will say with that, there's always a trade-off. So to that end, while this definitely works, one of the things is you do not have your backup iron sights. So whether this optic goes down or not, backup iron sights can be nice, especially when you're transitioning into an optic to be able to give you a reference. So if you don't have basically correct presentation every time and pick up the dot, you bring it up, find your irons, and then boom, okay, there's the dot. So this obviously doesn't allow that. One of the other shortcomings is it's high. It absolutely is. Because rather than actually machining away metal and mounting this down straight onto a slide, we've actually added a piece of metal to mount this to on top of the slide. But does it work? It absolutely does. One of the things I do really appreciate about this though is it's not permanent. You can absolutely just remove your rear sight, throw this guy on there, get it all leveled, and get your optic on there. It gives you a chance to basically try it. Granted, as I would mentioned, it's not going to put it as low as a milled slide or anything like that, but it'll give you an idea of what it's like to shoot with an optic. I think that's important because while most guns I think are kind of moving in the direction of optics and a lot come from the factory with basically provisions to run optics on them, there's a lot of people with pistols floating around out there that are not set up for optics. And this definitely gives you an opportunity at a fairly low kind of buy-in to try it, see how you like it before you permanently modify like any of your old like Gen 3 Glocks or anything along those lines. Well, this is admittedly bigger than having something milled into your slide, it's not egregious by any stretch of the imagination. What I mean by that is holsters, such as stuff by Safari Land. It'll still clear the shroud, works fine. All your ALS, no problems whatsoever. And relatively inexpensive as far as a buy-in to kind of try it out and see if shooting with a optic on your pistol is something you're interested in costs usually around 45 bucks. All steel construction, a little over an ounce, and yeah, made by Strike Industries. But if you pick one up, try it out, let me know what it does for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.